Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States. More than a century ago, Abraham Lincoln called the United States the last best hope on earth. That idea is never far from the minds of the men who have been president since Lincoln. In some way, it guides almost every important action they take. When we first arrived at Camp David, the first thing upon which we agreed was to ask the people of the world to pray that our negotiations would be successful. Those prayers have been answered far beyond any expectations. Through 13 long days, the members of all three delegations have spent endless hours, day and night, talking, negotiating, grappling with problems that have divided their people for 30 years. Whenever there was a danger that human energy would fail, or patience would be exhausted, or goodwill would run out, these two leaders found the resources within them to keep the chances for peace alive. The Camp David Conference should be renamed. It was the Jimmy Carter Conference. <laughs> as far as my historic experience is concerned, I think that he worked harder than our forefathers did in Egypt building the pyramids. <laughs> President Carter has said that our security and our survival must be within a framework of freedom. Freedom is what identifies us as a nation. My number one responsibility is to defend this country, to maintain its security. And I put a strong defense at the top of my priority list, and it's going to be maintained that way. The president is also alert when freedom and peace are in danger. Peace. A peace that preserves freedom remains America's first goal. In the coming years, as a mighty nation, we will continue to pursue peace. I'm determined that the United States will remain the strongest of all nations, but our power will never be used to initiate a threat to the security of any nation or to the rights of any human being. We seek to be and to remain secure, a nation at peace, in a stable world. But to be secure, we must face the world as it is. We now spend about 5% of our gross national product on defense. The Soviets spend about 15% of their gross national product on defense. I am not going to let this country be vulnerable under any circumstances, and I'm not ever going to let our defense capability be inferior to that of the Soviet Union or any other nation. We really are making some progress, and uh, it's slow, and it's going to be tough, and we're going to have a lot of setbacks, and people are going to be impatient with us, but uh, you're on the right track, and uh, the people of Egypt, the people of Israel know you are. Uh, Begin and Sadat know you're on the right track, and if we just can get the American people to keep staying with you, uh, we'll, we'll find peace. To get peace in the Middle East is more important than my being reelected. And we've made everybody angry in the process at one time or another, but we've made steady progress. Now we've got a prospect for peace. More than most presidents in recent times, the president has been a peacemaker. And he has not forgotten that we are still the last best hope on earth. And I would like to say to these two friends of mine, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be the children of God. President Jimmy Carter, peacemaker. <laughs>